good morning so we were discussing how to first get the unit level data of nss survey and then identify the important documents which one should keep handy to connect unit level data records with relevant nss schedule so it's a small recap so to get the unit level data of nss survey we went to the website <coughs> use the download data option and then downloaded the data remember to keep here i have given a um, small screenshot of the readme file where we should place the cursor and then click to get the relevant files so data lay 75_252.xls that will give the layout of the data file so we have to put the cursor there click it when we find the hand sign and it will get downloaded similarly we again uh, place our cursor here when we actually put it on the pdf file because this is a image of that file we are not seeing the hand sign but in the actual pdf file we will see the hand sign then we click here the file gets opened then we right click save as save the text file and in the readme file itself they have mentioned these are the documents which one should actually uh, download and keep uh, with himself in addition to all these documents what i did is i also used this download reports option of the mosbi website and downloaded report 585 75th round education final because this not only is a, uh, for reading it will also help the detail tables to first find out whether uh, the estimates which we will be generating are actually correctly being done or not so the important documents yeah, <coughs> all we have known and now remember we should keep all this excel file data layout unit level data ka jo data layout hai excel file rahega text file mein unit level data jitna blocks ka chahiye sabhi ka rakhiye multiplier file already data file mein wo laga hua hai fir bhi aap alag se bhi rakh sakte hai agar aapko zyada कोई गंभीर एनालिसिस वेरिएंस निकालना है या आपको क्रॉस चेक करना है कैसे बनाया गया है तब आप मल्टीप्लायर फाइल भी अलग से देख सकते हैं सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट में पीडीएफ फाइल में रीडमी बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है क्योंकि वहाँ पे सारा क्वेश्चन यार कैसे यूज किया आ, सारा डेटा कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं कहाँ पे क्या है सब कुछ उसी के अंदर दिख रहा है जो एन एस एस शेड्यूल है वो शेड्यूल कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग क्वेश्चन ईयर वो भी रखना पड़ेगा और एक किसी भी एक पब्लिश रिपोर्ट ताकि जो आउटपुट हम निकाल रहे हैं वो क्रॉस चेक करना चाहिए फिर हम देखेंगे कि कौन कौन सा एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर ये यूनिट लेवल डेटा प्रोसेसिंग के लिए हम यूज कर सकते हैं हम कोई भी सॉफ्टवेयर यूज कर सकते हैं हमारे पास मशीन में जो सॉफ्टवेयर अवेलेबल है उसी को यूज करेंगे अगर ऐसा कोई जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको एस पी एस एस सैस टेटा पाइथन आर ये सब ही यूज करना है और उस उसको अगर यूज नहीं कर सकते हैं आप या उसका कोडिंग आपको पता नहीं है जानकारी नहीं है उसका तो आप ये नहीं कर पाएंगे इफ नथिंग एल्स यू कैन यूज एक्सेल आल्सो एंड गिवन द क्वांटम ऑफ डेटा व्हिच वी यूज फॉर द स्टेट लेवल एनालिसिस वी कैन वेरी वेल डू इट इन एक्सेल we need not tell someone else that uh, no i don't know access or i don't know r i don't know python so i cannot do a tabulation it's not a very big deal will that is why i will try to show how we can do the things in excel itself particularly for doing generating tables at the state level or district level the current versions of excel are more than good enough to do it so what we will discuss now is first convert the text data to user friendly format in like in excel files we will uh, try to understand the different identifiers how to do it state code district code or if we are using the enterprise survey schedule then 
the un how to find out the unique enterprise how to identify unique household unique person create the identifiers where for the different data files we can prepare it at the household and person level different blocks levels connect them or even without connecting them we can generate estimates and slowly we will see one after another some of the excel functions which we will be using it particularly for creating the data file which we will be using for tabulation we will require these four specific functions left mid right and value you can see with just these four five small functions we can create a uh, very clean excel file where we, we will know we will be able to understand how the different values of the schedule are being displayed